Eivor, you missed the opening act. Kurtwe's forward camp melted like a spring thaw at our approach. Is it from here we launch our attack? We do indeed, and we are ready to fight. King Harold's forces are well in place. Only give the word. I will, but before we strike, I have a request. Name it. That Eivor may give challenge to Kyrtve at the gate of his fortress. A battle to the death in single combat. Yes. Is this what you want? Kyotri robbed my father of all honor and dignity. I will win it back. When honor is at stake, let none interfere. And if Kyotri should die before the battle begins, all the better for our chances. Today my blade must do the work of Skuld's sharp scissors. And cut short the cord of Kjotve's fate. Well said, my sharp-tongued warrior scout. May we all live to hear that saga sung. Eivor, a word! Basim, hide them. This feud is not yours, yet you fight it all the same. I find that strange. You find it strange because you are wrong. Our clan, the Hidden Ones, have been fighting with Kjotve's order for centuries. You came from Miklagard to kill Kjotve yourself? We did. Or rather, we came so that Hytham could kill him. My apprentice has been studying this target for many months. Is Kjotve's reputation so great outside Norway? Not his reputation alone, but the order to which he belongs. Something of a rival clan to our own. Hytham, I mean no disrespect to you or the Hidden Ones. But Kyotve is mine. My family's honor is at stake. I understand. All that matters is that Kyotve dies this day. On that, we are agreed. Sigurd Horson! Slink around my walls like a thief in the night. Face me here now. The fight is mine, Kjotve. Sigurd is only here to watch me feed your innards to my raven. Look at this! <laughs> Once again, Abel Wolfkist appears to take a swipe at me. This. This is my father's shame. Today I take back the honor he lost. I call the home gang! Here! Against the Oathbreaker! I will make you beg as your father begged, Wolfkiss. Squeal as your mother squealed. You are weak, like your father was weak!
rise, Eivor. And awaken. Odin? What do you want of me? You have won your prize, Wolfkist. The glory of my death. All for this? The coward father is sent to sacrifice. Heed the price of our war, Lord Kist. The harvest of three tethered generations. All oh, their names are known. It all means nothing. No. My plan will not be forgotten! I fought as I did, as hard as I did, to survive, for I know what awaits us in the end. Holy darkness. are forfeit. Come forward if you must, into the crucible of your doom. Your father is dead, Gorm. His debt be paid. Open the gates and you will be spared. Wallow in shit, wolf kissed. Archers, take aim. Ravens, show no mercy. Archers, fire.
Let me strike! you predictable. You are a shadow of your father, Gorm. Weak and witless. And you will leave this place as ashes on the wind. battle rises from my brow. The skulls will sing of this night. We have won the day, but Gorm escaped. He fled north to King Harald's domain. Let that bruised piglet run where he may. His father is dead. His clan is no more. We are the masters of Ruyavilke. A toothless cub may grow to be a dangerous wolf. Eivor, stop and listen. You have reclaimed your honor. Enjoy the night's victory. Tomorrow, we will celebrate. You're right, brother. You're always right. Guthormur, relay news of our victory to your nephew, the king. I have done so already, Sigurd. You'll be more than pleased, and will ensure you pride of place at his Althing and Aurekstadir. Tell him we will come, battle-flushed and singing songs of glory. Keep company with kings, and you will soon have a crown of your own. <laughs> if the fates have spun it so, linger here and look what you can. I will bring news of our victory to Father before he leaves for Harald's Althing. I know, Sunin. Another time. 